Here's another example of one of these second order differential equations. And again, to start solving it, we're going to replace the differential equation with the characteristic quadratic equation that looks like r squared plus 2r minus 15 equals 0. And then we need to solve this. Again, we could use the quadratic formula if we needed to, but we can also recognize that we can factor this one. So if we factor this as r plus 5 times r minus 3, we get two answers for r, negative 5 and positive 3. So we have two distinct real solutions, r1 and r2, which means our two solutions, y1 and y2, will each use one of these. And it doesn't matter which one we call y1 and which one we call y2, but there's our two solutions, and our final answer, y of t, will be that linear combination of these two. So again, these problems are relatively quick and easy as long as the quadratic equation is easy enough to solve.